It's a really warm day today, so we're gonna go swimming. It's uh, the 5th of September, but it's like 24 degrees, so. And my glasses have been finished and are ready to be picked up, so we're gonna do that on the way, and I'm really excited, because I've only tried them on with someone else's prescription in it. Det er da mærkeligt. swim and it feels weird and great to wear these glasses everything is so sharp and detailed it's it's almost a little overwhelming it's like a little too much almost but not quite it's mostly just really nice and oh I haven't I haven't put you guys here yet because this is a new shelf that you're on that was a really nice swim, or, or it was nice to be in the water, but the water was kind of murky and gross, and it was right next to a construction site, and there were a lot of people, so... But the excursion feeling was nice, and having a drink of tea afterwards, and coffee, and sitting in the sun. And then right now, Thomas is just uh, buying groceries, and I had to run home to pee, because I really had to pee. but. And then I'm gonna cook dinner because I don't have a lot of coursework. He has so much. He just started his studies, and they have they have a myriad of 
assignments and stuff to do all the time. <laughs> I almost feel lazy, also because I started a week after him. I'm wearing my new glasses. It feels very surreal. I, I feel like I didn't realize how blurry my sight was until I put them on. I, it was like a strange experience because my, my other old pair of glasses that I've had since 2017 are a little bit outdated in the prescription strength and this pair is completely new lenses. So I can see so many details now, it's almost a little overwhelming. I know I'm gonna get used to it and I'm already more used to it now than when I first put them on, but it was like a, whoa, it was kind of <laughs> blown back by that experience. And I like the look. I really like them. And when I bought them secondhand, I was like writing to all my friends and my parents and I was like, do you like these glasses? And they were all like, oh yeah, they're fine or whatever. <laughs> uh, you're really gonna get those or those your new glasses? But I just, I really love them and I couldn't let go of the idea of getting them and also getting the bangs. <laughs> um, it just felt, it just felt right. So I'm excited for this new era of me, of my looks. I also just found this ring, which I really adore. It's like quite bulky and intense, but it's also very simple in its design. Uh, especially with my nails like this. I wore it yesterday and today, and I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow as well. So, this is my new era. I get a sweaty nose bridge though with this. I'm gonna make mac and cheese, vegan, cauliflower, oven style, hopefully. Because I need leftovers for my day tomorrow, which is very long, it's like six hours, uh, lab time for the first time in our language cognition in the brain class, which I'm excited to see what it's all about. It's my second day of the third semester and so far my basic feeling has been really, really positive. Because my summer was so busy, I was thinking that I didn't want to start again, but that now I started, I'm like, wait. I think I actually really like the routines that comes with this. There's like a filter on this camera, I think, which like smooths out the skin, which I don't like. And I don't know how to remove it. It makes me look a little inhuman, I think. Like, also with the glasses, it like blurs everything. You can't see my freckles. You can't see the pores in my skin. It's annoying.
warm day. I'm going to make my favorite little cooling down beverage, which is where I blend up frozen strawberries with a little bit of water and syrup. And then I pour some bubbly water on top because of how I uh, get to use my parents' soda streamer. Borrow it. For now it's mine. It's here. So I'm going to do that. I've also been really obsessed with the idea of owning a juicer recently. Like I really want to make, recreate this um, beetroot ginger shot thing I found last, last fall and I mixed that up with sparkly water as well. It was so good and I miss it all the time. I don't know if um, nostalgia has like made it better in my head but in my head it's like one of the best beverages I could think to have and I'm craving it often. So if I had a juicer then I could recreate that and I could also just make juices as little drinks and concoctions instead of having sodas or tea. Sometimes I make a tea because I want a beverage but I don't actually want a tea. You know? I was so sure I found a juicer in the thrift store right next to our grocery store. But it was a food processor, so... L. I'm just in my head, I'm so convinced that I can find it in the secondhand shop because there are quite a lot on the market and I would imagine even more people owning and then just donating a juice machine instead of going through the hassle of selling it. I'm gonna listen to In Our Nature and make that drink. Oh, <laughs> 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 